website at www.jfrinc. Also, please like and share this video um, as we pray, bring you more videos. John Singletary and myself bring you more videos that's relevant not only to uh, people of color, but Americans in general. The title of this video is A Dog with a Bonus Amount Cannot Bark. Let me repeat. This is an old saying. A dog that has a bone in its mouth cannot bark. This is for you, NAACP, and the Reverend Al Sharpton. I mentioned those two entities or persons and entity um, because if you look at the financials, well, we know that Al Sharpton has some issues with the IRS. Okay. I think it's over $4 million that he owes the IRS. I don't know how in the world you can have access to the president as much as he does and owe the IRS so much money. I have no idea. I don't even know how in the world he's not in jail owing $4.5 million. I think it's $4.5 million. If you look at the, the financial report for the National Action Network, they receive around $4 million a year and they spend about $4 million a year, pretty close to it. They don't have much left over when it's all said and done. But throughout the news media, there's been reports of National Action Network uh, only money or ba barely um, surviving. And then there's the NAACP. The NAACP in 2000, 12, they receive from grants and contributions over $23 million. And from membership that year, they receive $3.2 million. Let me repeat that again. From grants and contributions, those contributions are from businesses, corporations. $23 million. And let's move on to 2013. They received $15 million from grants and contributions and only $3 million from membership. Now, on 2003, that 2003, that the membership contribution is 9%, 9% of the revenue that they get is from members. However, it's 48% that they're getting from corporations and grants. Now, the title of this video is A Dog That Has a Bone in His Mouth Can't Bark. What that is saying, that's a whole saying. I just got it from, matter of fact, I got it from a, a person here in South Carolina, Charleston, South Carolina. Now, what I'm saying is that you can't basically bite the hand that fight, feeds you. So, why is there so much racism in the workplace, particularly, you know, I'm dealing with the workplace, is because the Entities that you're thinking that was going to help you get your justice, they're getting money from these same corporations. Al Sharpton, they they, they said, you know, what, is, what is reported is that Al Sharpton, according to, let me, let me um, read this to you without my glasses. Al Sharpton raised $1 million from the National Action Network at his birthday bash in October with donations rolling from unions and a corporate roster contributors, including AT&T, McDonald's, Verizon, and Walmart. Now, what if Walmart, Verizon, AT&T, McDonald's were discriminating? Do you think Al Sharpton is going to call them to the carpet? Going to put it on, going to say, hey, y'all need to get this right. No, that's not going to happen. Now, 
for the NAACP, it's the same thing. Why are these corporations being able to do what they do to, to um, people of color as far as discriminating against them and these National Action Network, um, NAACP, remain silent. Now, here's the true story. This happened, I would believe, um, it happened a few years, some, some years ago, NAACP. Um, it was in West Memphis, Tennessee. And I spoke about it in an earlier video. Um, you can check our archives. Now, what happened was that there was a lawsuit, a discrimination lawsuit. In, and it was settled in, I think, in 2010, 2011, somewhere around there. But there was a discrimination lawsuit. But during the course of that discrimination lawsuit, during the trial, because the company, Nucor Steel, that's Nucor Steel, N-U-C-O-R, Steel Incorporated, look it up online, they were found guilty of having a racially hostile environment. Now, during the course of that litigation that started back in, actually the first case uh, against New Court started back in like in 19, in the, in the uh, like 1996, something like that. Now, during the course of that, the NAACP um, gave New Court an employer of the year. Now, this is while they're being investigated for discrimination, employer of the year, okay? Now, the case that was that they found guilty was, that was during the time, that all happened during the time that they gave this company who eventually was found guilty of providing a hostile work environment towards blacks. Now, I contact, because after the verdict, because Newcorp bragged how good they were that they were, that the NAACP gave them an award. Now, so I said, okay, well, let me call and find out, is this true? Because I thought, you know, hey, this company, they lied like a, like a rug. I called the West Memphis branch that gave them the, the award. And I asked the president of the branch. And the president said that they gave us well, first of all, they, it, was a, it was a woman, I can't remember her name right now, but she said that they, Nucor, um, she toured Nucor. And when she toured Nucor, because I asked her, said, hey, do you know y'all gave a racist company uh, a, a employer of the year? She said, I said, how did, how did they qualify? She said she toured the plant. And when she toured the plan, she spoke with the employees and they all seemed happy. That was it. And Nucor paid $5,000 for the banquet they had in that West Memphis, um, Arkansas branch. So I asked, so I called the president of the state. And I said, are y'all aware of this? And he didn't now. He didn't at that time, but now he is. And he was surprised the fact that Newcorp was found guilty in a in a in the state of Arkansas. He said it must have been bad. So I called. So I said, "Well, would you guys at least retract or resend that award? Keep the money, but resend the award because you didn't know that they was what they were doing." I called, I talked to, well, the branch would not do it. The, the president of the state would not do it. I even called Washington, D.C., because that's where the home office is. Would not rescind the award. So Nucor still sits up there that they were awarded, I think it was in 2000, Employer of the Year. Employer of the Year. A company that was found guilty of a racial hostile.